everybody, this is Tim Kelly for Master Photo Techniques. But today I'm also speaking for my portrait studio uh, for myself, what I do and how I work in my camera room. I decided to try some new panels from Level Up Imaging, which consists of a large translucent, a reflector, and a silver way back there. And that's the basic kit. You can do studio portraits in a studio or on location with just one light and three panels. Now for me, I'm part of my art is the background and I always want to create with light on the background. So I have added the Fresnel light, which you'll see in detail in use, uh, which allows me to paint light on whatever background I use. So that's like an option. But what I found is this is something anybody can master nowadays. And with new cameras being, um, you know, a mirrorless, you can kind of just look through your, your viewer and see what lighting you're getting exactly. No waiting to see what the flash did. In other words, it's pretty exact, pretty excited about it. So I'm going to do a session now with a young lady just to really try things out. But this is like my first, uh, non-test session where I'm actually going to try to create the exact same look and exact same lighting that I've been doing for decades with completely new assets. So the level up system is what I'm going to shoot this entire session with. I hope you like it, but let's bring her in just so we can see where in the setup our subject goes. Come on in Laura. You'll always be turned away from the light a little tiny bit for the sake of the body. And the nose will generally go back towards the light. So that gives us almost the same light we were always used to. And we'll do test shots just to evaluate exposure and composition. The thing about the panels is we can move the light in or behind the panel to get it softer or harder, spread more, whichever. So I'm going to go ahead and look through my camera. We're going to go high key because her sweater is very high key. We don't want what's behind her to be dark. So we're going to probably end up after our first test, blowing out this background to make it more high key. So let's do the, the test. Here we go. Now we've already set our values up just to get everybody always asks, well, what are you shooting at? You know, and of course I point them to so many other videos where I do discuss it today, since we're using constant light, we're using a 700 watt unit, I believe at about 25%, very, very low. We're at ISO, what are we at? 800 and I'm shooting at 125 at F5.6 roughly. So, uh, exposure is going to change as you move in and out of the light, of course, and there's so many other variables as well, but we'll do our first test from here and evaluate it. Flash. One of the advantages with that is it doesn't scare little babies and such, uh, but your lighting looks really good. I'm going to say, as I guesstimated that the background spot for which we're today using not a grid anymore, but a, a Fresnel. So we're going to just power that up and get another stop or two on the background so that the difference between this light and what's behind it is not too great. A quick test. The exposure is really nice right off the bat. I'm going to say, if you can turn to me just a tiny click, can you throw that leg over that one? Just, and it's not even in the shot. But that way you can fall over it a little further. The arms can go down. The background's perfect for you now. Your hair looks great. So I'm ready to make nice images. Beautiful. It is weird without a flash though, isn't it? Okay. Uh, for the image, Curtis, let's pull our reflector out just a little bit. I feel like it's a, almost a little bit flat, just a tiny. And the silver, we didn't talk about all these things yet, but the silver back there is a kick but it also has the potential to fill the shadow side of the face, which we don't necessarily want. So let's take that silver and turn it just away from her and turn it into me. 
you're gonna have to lift it over that background bar a little bit. The other way, I want it to face me. And that's good, if your nose is more this way, we won't get it on your face. Or could easily represent my mane of a three foot by four foot softbox. That's kind of what I'm getting out of this. Now I have another one next to it. If I was doing a group of six or seven or eight people or more, I could light this one up too. And simply by pulling back and spreading the light, you can see we have lots of power. But filling both these panels is basically like making two giant windows and I can cover people from, you know, a stack of people across the room. But the beauty of it is I can get the exact same studio look that I've had for so long with these quick pop-up and essentially one light. I've added the Vernell on my background because I just happen to like painting backgrounds with uh, a spotlight. We nailed now the high key set, so I wanted to give her an option. And since she brought this, I'm using it. I think it'll be lovely. A couple shots using the same lighting, same side, and uh, then we will use a great deal of our time to do low key, which is my favorite. We'll change the background. We'll go into darker clothing. So looking great right there. I think let's get up a little bit so I can have you lean. So sit here leaning more that way. So we always want to have, you can sit in the middle, but you're going to be leaning like we, we do. You know, we just get the action pose, you know. Straight up and down is boring. Let's get a test first and it's lovely. So Curtis, if you could move our spotlight to the left a little is all we need to do. Something we have always done in our, in our strobe situation as well. Let me do a test, beautiful, good. And that looks very, very nice, excellent. So, punched up, fallen over, good. Here we go, Laura, very pretty and excellent. So we can zoom in even closer to the face. Get the beauty shot right there. Serious for one, beautiful. You look great that way, so I wanna get it. I love it. All right, stay right there, we'll get another. Okay, so now we'll do a side view in this same setup. Uh, let's have me up one more time. I'm just gonna move you a little further away and you're gonna be facing more to the back corner with your body and then looking into the light. There we go. So, and Okay, uh, your hair, you may just wanna just, you can put it all back, all forward, whatever you want. Looks great, but we do want it to make a decision <laughs> as to where it wants to go. Let's bring the hands higher so the elbows go out. Yeah. All right, stay there and that's nice. Stay right there. I'm gonna make the background darker by going this way. Just keep the chin where it is, but bring the eyes to me. Beautiful, love that. Fall forward, yeah. It gives you more room under your chin and shoulder, and I like that. Good. Curtis, could you please move the spotlight to the opposite side now, to the right, if you wouldn't mind. All right, try getting more chin to shoulder to me, like that. Yeah, close that up, and I'll get a different kind of look. Love that. To get shorter is we can move the light back this way, as we did a little bit, but now we're going to go even further. Uh, to do it that way. What we'll do is simply move our model forward. So you can get up. We'll move you up here. Same light, but the, it, the final outcome is going to be much shorter lit image. So you can do the same over the shoulder kind of thing you were doing. Beautiful. Keep the serious one first. Good. Fix the hair. Pull the shirt kind of taut and then Lean down a lot and put your shoulder, maybe shoulder hot. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna do the serious look first. Super pretty. Yeah, the lighting is, is gorgeous. Stay right there and I'll get another couple. Beautiful. Now looking down that way. Still turn the nose our way a little. Yeah, but now tipping, tipping down and looking down. Good. That's a good one. Stay right with us. Beautiful. Oh, I like that as well. Slide that hand down lower, please. Turn hard. You can actually spin the bottom a little bit, make it easier to get to me. There we go. Let's do the opposite before we give up, meaning go this way out of the light. Let me move your chair a little. I'm gonna do broad light, which would be 
you're turning your nose to me more like, keep coming, but good. Then what this is gonna do, it's gonna darken so much of her light outfit, which will bring attention to the face. Beautiful, now the nose will come here. Right there, all right, right there. So very lovely. That's a home run. Curse, let's move the, main, the, the light forward to me a little bit softer. Even tip the, this, this box, you know, or a panel in a little bit. Nose a little bit that way, dear. Keep going, keep going, eyes to me. Nice. That's the shot I wanted right there. Beautiful. Hot uh, spot is nice. Now start bringing your left hand up to your buttons or your collar or whatever, like that, yeah. Nose over here, but eyes here. That's beautiful. Now same thing, but spin it slowly and tip it down. Right there, lovely, good. Love that too. So we're back with Laura, still in our level up system here of panels, and we're gonna go low key. Nothing has changed about the lighting yet. I'll have to do a few tests to see what I like. And on most cameras now that are um, mirrorless, you can look in your lens, look in your camera back and see what the lighting looks like. So I can do it with my eye as well, and I'll know as soon as she sits down what has to be changed. But for the starting point, it is just the ground zero of lighting. Everything is in its normal place. So we're gonna use a dark stool this time for her. Again, because our light, main light is here, you'll wanna be uh, kind of body facing away from it. So just sit on the edge, facing your dressing room actually. Good. All right, and just lean into the center a bit. And then we're gonna turn your face a little. Good. And yeah, push out of here back. I like to have a, a neckline if I can, a little bit of a neck. All right, let me do a test with my camera. See what we get. Actually, balances are quite good, but they're kind of a little flat. So what we'll do, increase our background uh, spot a little bit power wise, maybe move it even a little closer so it's more dramatic. Uh, usually goes over the opposite shoulder away from the main light. Hang on here, let's see. Yep, here we got what we want right there. Beautiful, let's get a couple of nice exposures. Lovely, and are you used to it not flashing now? I think it's better. I kind of like it a lot better. All right, so you're pumped up, and I think this arm, is let's go forward with it instead. Yeah, and tip it down, and yes, the values are super pretty. We'll get a few of those, and we'll change the pose a little bit, since it's working so well. Good, give me that dead serious one again. Looking down like the bottom of the light that way. And then eyes up, good. Now to make it shorter without moving her, Curtis, let's move the main light source down a little bit to another panel. All he did was twist it to another panel and it should be shorter. So we'll get a better shadow rendering on our face. Something we always, always do. Make sure we capture the right flesh tones. You know what? I like to use furniture as a blocking device. So you can come in at a lot of ways. You could straddle, but you can also go just hip, one hip this way and kind of go like this, you know. So there's a number of poses you can do with a simple chair. And if you just kind of roll this a little bit and hang that kind of point down, when we have these closer to the face, it directs us a little better. You don't want everything stacked like straight up and down, but you do want it nearby, at least in the same parking lot. That would be good. <laughs> Good, looking right here, serious one, beautiful. All right, well, this time, let's hide both hands. Just bury them in there, whatever, yeah. Okay, good, that's nice. I think we got that. Okay, so for this change, Curse, can we pull back on this, make the spot a little larger, maybe a hair more powerful. Go to the left an inch or two. And let me test it, see how it looks. Let me do that, and nice, good. So let's turn the chair a little bit, so it doesn't hold. Now just try sitting on it a different way. 
and then fall into it more. Yeah, that's starting to happen. All right, good. I think the hand would be better on your arm for him, yeah, than the chair. Good. Take a quick peek. Lovely. That's nice. Let me move. First, I need the spotlight just, just a tap to the right. I love my backgrounds. I love changing them ever so subtly. In a fashion situation, if the clothes is what you're trying to show, you can have everything just stay exactly the same, fully lit. But for me, I'm trying to bring emphasis to face and hands and hair and figure and everything. So it's a different game. All right, right there looks beautiful. All right, that's really good. Looks great on you. Can I say, Laura, let's have you stand up, please. Now this, we're gonna be chain, needing to change the light a little bit on this. We'll use this um, chair just to, to lean into what kind of, she'll be like, you know, like this, whatever's comfortable, hip, and leaning this way. But we gotta fit it all in the picture, so. So weight on one leg, on one arm, hand on hip. Yeah, that's pretty much the idea. Put our spotlight higher, just a little bit. So it's over the shoulder and not behind the waist. Just pitch it up a little. Yep, yep, okay. Testing. Good. Yeah, and left a little bit if you haven't already done so. Good. Nice. And your face down a little that way, yes. Good, right there works. Let's see. Nice. Good. Yep, that looks real attractive. I like it. Laura, let's do the same kind of thing, but turn your figure more this way. Still weight on one leg, yeah. But also, you want to be always leaning a little forward. Hair's good. So let's see. Beautiful. Nice. Very, very pretty. That's nice. Hands are very pretty. The front hand, the back hand's good. Front hand should just kind of still have fingers out a little bit. So kind of just rest, rest your palm like that. Yeah, yes, yeah, simple. And fall over it just a little. Nose down, nose that way, just a touch. Come back a few, a few clicks, beautiful. All right, I like that. All right, super pretty. But I have an idea that to have you lean differently, a little more dreamy, this won't show. So the main's gotta be a little lower, Curtis, just a touch. And I think I wanna use it maybe like this, so you're just kinda uh, forward leaning mm -hmm. like this. So I just wanna get that kind of look. And see if that is close enough or too close. Yeah, that's good. And hands are nice, hair's great. So stay right there. Good. I love the pose. I love the, the whole design, because I love this line. Well, it's very pyramid, very triangular, which is great. It takes us right to her face. Hair's lying right. But this hand is a little hotter. So Curtis, let's have you drop this in place a little bit and prove that it still works even on the level up system. All we want to do is just go Show the hand fully lit, and then go in and skim it. Yeah, that's good. Let's get that shot. Boom. All right. Control, I love it. Stay there. Good. Okay, so now that we have messed with you there, <laughs> I want to do the shot one last time, so take a break from it. Shake it out. I want to get a little less of this fill on you. All right, now let's see if that light is good. Let's bring the, this main a translucent in closer, just two or three inches. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, even closer, just walk it forward, it's clear. All right, there you go. All right, now let me do a test on her face and make sure we got what we want. I'm getting a little bit of spillage on the background there. Doesn't look bad though, actually. It's kind of a cool effect, so just leave it. Shake them out. Go, go the long one and then the, there you go. I want to see fingertips on, yeah, on that. Let it hang over towards me. 
That's good. And the other one can come back up towards you. Good, maybe, yeah. Whatever fits you, that's good. Stay right there. Let's look at that. That's very cool, I like it. Looking kind of down, uh, back into the shadow though, towards this way and, and pick a spot more in front of you. Yeah, then looking here, good. Okay, let's change the hands again to out there or whatever. Oh, actually you could do that too, that's fine. Uh-huh, good, stay there. We'll see what works the best. That's pretty. Let this hand hang over, even if you have the other one, even if you have to move the chair some to make it, make it work. You know, I want it to kind of fall over the front. Yeah, fingers down, come down. There, yeah, that's better there. Good, I like that. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, so let's do all compressed and down. Yeah, that hand down out of the way more, good. All right, good. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let's hide the hand underneath or whatever. And good. All right. Okay, let's do a few with the hand to the face. Either one, both, whatever. Good, good, good. Stay there, good. All Tip right. the hand, head down more. Like this way, right. And then let me make sure I can see some of the palm or the fingers on that side, yeah. And then I'll just ask for your eyes. Beautiful, good. I think that. Curtis, let's end this thing. Try and get the silver to punch her from the back. Punch her in the back with the silver, because I like it. Just kick it in so that she gets some. Good, that's good. And nice. This hair's falling a little bit on the other side, the other side down. All right, so this, good, same. That's the same feel, beautiful. Good, nice. Let's take the gobo, Curtis, and make it into a glamour reflector on the left. Yep, beautiful. And that way we can finish this. Beauty shot. <laughs> this will be the cover, I think, right there. Okay, take the other hand that's hanging. Just bring it up into your, yeah, somewhere into the composition. Beautiful, yeah, lower and skinnier, yes, right there. Head into the shadow, too much, come back. And this hand come down more. The other one, sorry, the other one, that's it, yeah. And then we'll make you do it one more time. Okay, that's the shot, take it apart, and just go ahead and go into that spa mode. <laughs> just put the hands up and, yeah, do the same shot. Pull all the hands up. Mood, mood, mood. Serious, serious, serious. Love it, love it. Great. I love that. This hand that's up here should have some air between you and, yeah, nose down more. Beautiful right there. Good. Nice. All right, we're good. All right, so this is the Level Up Basic Kit. And it kind of goes back to the earliest of my learning commercial photography, panels, reflectors, scrims, all that kind of thing. And uh, I'm very comfortable with it. And it might take a little time for you if you've been strictly a strobe person to get used to it. But uh, with today's cameras, I think it's pretty easy to get used to because it's a true, what you see is what you get. So main light source, additional light source for me, if I need it, reflector, main frontal reflector, silver as a kick. And uh, I'm enjoying it. And I hope you enjoy the images that we just made. Have a great one.